Hill Church family. Um, as you might have seen with our worship team, we wanted to make several uh, just brief videos with some of our staff members here at our church and also several leaders uh, within our church family. And uh, I am here today with uh, Phil Gillespie, and uh, he's going to share a little bit about who he is and uh, his involvement here at Seabury First Baptist Church. I'm one of the old men of the church, you know, and uh, um, occasionally I'll somewhat kiddingly say that I'm a president of Methodist Baptist. I grew up in a Presbyterian church, um, basically learned, learning more the moral principles of Christianity and not really learning God's word that, that strong in that way. And then uh, after college and, and, and while well, in the Air Force, uh, our three children were born, and my wife Jean and I uh, felt we wanted to allow our children to uh, make their own decisions rather than for us to usher them into uh, our faith. And then uh, the Lord worked on us a little bit, and we realized that uh, everything we had to do with our children, we had to have a base. In other words, we couldn't expect them to make decisions if they didn't have information. So we determined that it's time for us to really get back in, into the work. And uh, when we began to do that, um, I don't know, I just, the Holy Spirit convicted me and I, I became so passionate about learning the Word of God. And so for a number of years, um, I, was, I, I found a good teacher and uh, began to really dig in deep to the Word of God. Um, but then I reached what I would call an adolescent stage in my faith of Christianity, my knowledge and understanding. And I'll define that in, in that uh, an adolescent or teenager, not, not, now this doesn't mean all of them, but a characteristic is that uh, they're eager to learn, eager to know things, but once I learn something, then I know it. And so now I feel compelled to tell other people uh, and straighten them out and so forth. And I realized I was in that adolescent stage and, and we were in a church that I, we didn't, we were not really learning much from the Bible in the church. It was a very, um, very welcoming, friendly church. We had a lot of friends and, and a number of people that I, I saw and associated with outside the church. And uh, it was not an easy decision, but we eventually decided to leave that church and when we did we were afraid i was particularly afraid to uh, to come to another church within the community because i was again an adolescent and i have a tendency to answer people's questions <laughs> and uh, so when i would see people and they would say we miss you why aren't you coming anymore i would tell them and i realized that was wrong i mean it was it was their church and, and I was not, my attitude towards, towards the church and my disappointment in not getting what I was seeking from the church was, was a self-centered thing. And so for a number of years, we, uh, Gene and I did serious study. And I mean, regularly we had, we'd sit three kids down. It was like they were in a, in a classroom. They had notebooks, they had to take notes. I gave them exams. And, and we discussed things, learned basics of the Word of God, and then uh, I came to a point where I was missing, the Lord showed me what I was missing uh, very strongly, and that was I was learning about His Word and building a relationship with the Lord, but apart from the relationship with other Christians, I couldn't go very far, and Gene uh, and I had unfortunately had, we attended a funeral of a daughter of a friend of ours, she, she was killed in a single car accident when she was 19, and uh, 18 or 19, and we had gone to the funeral, and uh, after the funeral we were at the church, and we, uh, we observed the fellowship that was occurring in that small group, and, and it was in Henderson, so Gene and I were driving back to Seabury, and uh, neither one of us spoke a word, and almost until we arrived at Seabury and both started to speak at the same time. And it was the same thing. We need to be in the church. And so the next Sunday morning we came and went to Sunday school class here. That was in 1993. 
we've been here ever since. And, uh, and, and the growth of the fellowship of a church family, um, I, I see is so very, very important for someone's development. So that's kind of my long story. And you are uh, our Sunday School Director. Uh, I am. And uh, also a, uh, a deacon. And how many years have you served as a, as a deacon? Um, I, don't, I don't really know. I was uh, nominated to serve as deacon a couple of years after I joined the church. Um, but I just, I didn't feel that I had the time that I could commit to it. And um, so it was, I, I guess I became a deacon probably in about 2001. That's when I retired from, from my employed <laughs> job. Uh, so that, that's probably about that long. Well, I, I think I certainly speak for the entire church family, how much we appreciate you and, uh, and all that you do in your service uh, to our church is really uh, a great blessing. So thank you for that. Too. Well, one of the things that, <clears throat> that I think I've learned that hopefully is a value to others, but um, in addition to the teaching that I received from, from a, a particular source, um, I had the opportunity when I retired the Green Valley Baptist Association began. I don't think it began then, or I was just aware of it then, but uh, seminary extension classes in Henderson. And so I, I was able to take a number of those. And uh, what I learned in this, in this church um, and in those seminary extension classes and all the reading that I've done since, uh, because I, I love to read. And, uh, and so, so I, I've studied a lot, um, has reinforced uh, the basics that I learned. And, uh, and one of the things that, that I noticed is that we have a tendency sometimes to, uh, to work out God's plan. <clears throat> and for me personally, what I think I've learned is that uh, uh, what he wants me to do is to be his disciple. In other words, receive his training, continue to uh, spend my time in that, in, in learning and growing, and then he will determine what I need to be doing. And uh, that sure, surely has been shown out here in this church. I mean, we a, a, well, a year after we began coming to church, I started uh, with a uh, teaching at an adult Bible study on Sunday nights. I did that for a number of years. I was asked to serve on the nominating team. And on our second meeting, um, we were seeking someone to replace an outgoing seventh and eighth grade Sunday school teacher. And uh, we, we hadn't been successful. And we took a break and we were just water fell. And uh, a lady said, Phil, why don't you consider doing that? And I knew that's not what I did. With adults, fine, but not with, with uh, that age group. But and she said, if you think about it and pray about it, and I, I told her I didn't have to because what hit me all, all of a sudden was that I can't be asking other people to step in and take responsibility. And so if, if I'm not willing to, then I am. And that opened the, the door really, really wide. And so, from that time, I taught that seventh and eighth grade class. They were mostly boys, and uh, uh, when they moved to ninth and tenth, they were a little bit of a challenge to the, to the woman who was teaching that, and so we switched. And so I had that same group plus a few others coming in for four years, and uh, and then I became as as, as a, a need arose. In other words, when when there was a need for something. Uh, then I felt I was, I was willing to step in. And I've grown so much from that. And I've seen it over and over with other people too. So I think I would encourage people to relax, just concentrate on, on uh, growing in God's Word, and then just uh, be willing to take the step when he, when he puts something in front of you. I mean, he'll, he'll take care of things. So to me, that, that would be a message I would hope. Thank you, Phil, and thank you so much for uh, 
watching this and if you've never visited our church, uh, we'd love to have you come and visit us. And, uh, Phil, as I said, is the director of our Sunday school program here, so we would love to work with you and get you in a 